It's time for the Gizwiz with Maz at Maddest Rider Dicty Bartolo. This is episode 2000, recorded Thursday, August 8th, 2024. 2,000 candles. On this episode of the Gizwiz, it's episode 2,000! So we celebrate and have a grand old time with some good memories and even some gadgets. All next on the Gizwiz! It's the same Dickie D. And OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology. Rows and rows of USBs. Growing blowing LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. Now! Now! It's episode 2000! Oh, that did not even pop. Episode 2000! Woo! Oh, wow! Yeah! yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, are there stringy things in there? Yeah, they're supposed to be. I think my my fan is like too oh, keeping strong. It. It's, uh, I've been in the studio for a while. This, the lights are a little oh, okay. hot, so I turn okay. on the fan. Here we go. Let's try this again. Woo, 2000! Two. Yeah, there's some stringy things in there. Oh, okay. All right, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Well, everybody, we've done it. 2,000 episodes. Uh, Holy amazing. moly. You amazing. got champagne? Let's open the yes, champagne. Yes, I do. I do. Um, Today's episode, I, like we said, congrats, Dickie D. I should start off by saying congratulations. Well, you know what? I congratulate you because someone in the chat room just said we're coming up to 10 years of independent, which means Yikes. you have been doing the show longer than Leo. True. Yeah. Holy yes. cow. Yes, I've Holy been doing the show cow. now for time-wise, not episode number-wise, but time-wise, I've, I've hosted the show longer than Leo has now. Um, now, he, yeah. you, because y'all were daily, <laughs> we yes, have we quite, quite a we, few episodes. Yeah, the, the first few uh Years it was, I think three years it was uh, every day of the week. Uh, uh. There we go. Wow. Who knows where it is? I don't have a champagne glass, so I'm using a classic Coke. Oh, that's fine. That's glass. fine. There you go. That's fine. Well, cheers to 2000 episodes. Today's episode is awesome because we're just going to have a, a little walk back in time. Exactly. Exactly. Um, it, it, it is, ama it is amazing. When I was typing that today, I said, join us for episode 2000. And 2000. I How could that be? How could that be? Yeah. I don't think, like, just doing a thing 2000 times it seems absolutely insane. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, just showing up 2000 times. That's, uh, <laughs> that's in impressive. You know, me, yeah. I like to celebrate with a cake. Oh. So I had to get a cake. And so, let me pull it on out here before and knock off the corbell off the. Oh, oh, this sounds like it's going to be a big cake. Oh man, it is the best. Oh, what quarter sheet cake you've ever seen? <laughs> no, it's just a little cake. Wow. Two thousand episodes. I didn't trust the um, lady at the bakery to spell the giz whiz correctly. Uh, oh, okay. I was a little bit scared uh, of that one. Um, so, oh, look, you got a cake too? Well, yes. Well, well, uh, no, we have <gasps> raspberry crumb buns. Raspberry Yum. crumb buns with each candle represents 1,000 episodes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's like so, uh, uh, per capita. <laughs> That's so great. This pretty, yeah. Yeah. That's but yours, yours looks, yeah. Yeah, mine yeah. is uh, confetti. It looked nice. <laughs> now, what, now, so our producer will come in between the two of you. Can you eat that entire cake? <laughs> uh, no, I don't think so. Uh, you, this is going to have to go in the fridge. Uh, oh, okay. Bit, uh, the freezer, right? Yeah, exactly. exactly. No, why don't you just freeze it and uh, and for show 3,000, you can just... <laughs> I 
I, it. It's like a wedding cake. I, you could bring it, yeah. you know, they freeze wedding cakes. You just bring it back. Um, now, I would had to get, of course, a gadget uh, because I saw this. By the way, first episode with a product shot. I added a product shot uh, oh, to this episode. Wow. So this is new. But anyway, check this out. It is, you always seen the candles, uh, you know, lit on a cake. Have you ever wanted to eat one? Well, now you can. Candles? Now you can eat, light and eat this candle. As you can see, it cost me I don't think I... absurd $2.50 for one eatable candle. But look, Do you my- you light it? My, yeah. My candle is so worth 2,000 episodes eat... each. And then- uh, Are you supposed to, what about the part that burns? Where'd my lighter go? Don't eat that part. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I don't know. Is the wick eatable? My cat came over here and jumped on all of this, and my pre-prepared lighter is missing. Well, darn it. I don't oh, think I can no. set this thing on fire unless I can run off. Oh, here it is. What's I that? found it. Okay. I have the Snoop Dogg lighter. Oh, yeah, okay. You know, okay. I needed to keep it very okay. professional with the... Uh, with. I had to I had to trust a professional with the lighter. There we go. Happy 2000 episodes. Yes, happy 2000 to you too. Uh, uh, uh. Happy 2000 episodes to you. Here we go. And then I eat it. <laughs> well, I would start Well, I we bottom. actually let me relight it because I want it like it's got to melt, right? Like what? Like yeah. I want to make sure that it uses it's an actual candle. Like anyway, we'll, we'll just. Oh, I like, see what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> I get. It, I didn't give it enough time. Look, I was just gonna say it looks. Oh, maybe the candle has to bake itself. It's self cooking. Self cooking. It's a self cooking candle. It's kind of a mini flame for a candle. Yeah. Are you, did you look on the package? You're supposed to eat the whole thing? It says, here, what is it here? Let's read the packaging. It says, let them eat it. Let them eat it. Light really? and eat. Won't <laughs> melt. Oh, it just won't melt. Oh. Oh. Dark chocolate candle. I got the dark chocolate. Light, wish, and eat. And then there's a little, there is an asterisk on it. It says, Light, wish, eat, and then the asterisk says remove wick right there. Oh, that's, oh. that's what it says. Okay, so oh, okay. hey, okay. at least this tiny little wick is lasting. So okay. it has a tiny little flame. Okay. And then stop. You're gonna set off the smoke well, detector. I yeah. I need to put it in my <laughs> This is why I got the Snoop Dogg uh, lighter. Yeah. You know, like, <laughs> go out! Well, now you can just, did you just burn yourself? No. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, I just you don't can understand why it's still right? smoking like this. This seems. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, it's melting. I'm melting. Okay, well, there was there is an end to the wick. I can see, yeah, the wick does not go that far down in there, but there was a wick oh, in there. Oh, I see, okay. I don't, I don't okay. think, yeah. And then, I need to eat the chocolate. All right. Is it good chocolate? No, it's about as good quality as like that's in an advent calendar. And it's like, um, okay. you know. Okay, unless you get the C's advent calendar. All right. Which we saw at the gift show again, and I said, this is pricey, right? And she said, well, I think it was, was it $49? Yeah. She <laughs> said, but, but there's more candy in it this year. Oh, even more. Yeah, even more. I and don't even. Seize candy. We love Seize candy. Oh, my Seize God. is the classic. The classic. Of... Let me see the sprinkles inside. There we go. It's all vanilla. Oh, we can go to the product shop for that. Here are the, here's a slice. And then, <laughs> oh, there are no sprinkles inside. No, that's It's just vanilla. I wanted to see sprinkles everywhere. Yeah. All right. <laughs> there you go. There's our cake. Space I'm not even, <laughs> even going to have space, it. Right. 
Face man said it might be more delicious to just eat a regular candle from your description. Uh, honestly, the wax, uh, you know, normal wax candles, they don't taste that bad. Uh, not sure if you've ever uh, experienced yeah. one, but they are, they are not that bad. Uh, it looks like I got a deal, apparently, because... <laughs> yes? How much would you pay for that candle? Since I you to Rachel sent over the, uh, the website of Let Them Eat Candles. Oh, okay. And they're typically what? about four bucks each. Look at that. For a set of three, that's $12. That's, that's crazy. So I only got mine for $2.50 uh, for one. Didn't even have to buy, oh, that's buy, good. buy that's it in a pack. Good. Yeah. I well, it seems it. if you buy two sets, then it's $10 each. <laughs> so you save a little bit of money. Yeah. Yeah. See that's... at the top? Yeah. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah. Ten ten dollar sets. Whew. Um, okay. Well, I am so excited that we are here at episode two thousand. We asked some of our friends and our fans to send over uh, well wishes, and I think we have to start with the 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 chief twit. Uh, honestly, Leo. Yeah. Um, Leo sent over a, a great video, so. Uh, here it is. Uh, with Micah. Yes. Many, many years ago, <laughs> and 5,000 miles away, no, that's the wrong, <laughs> I started a show with my dear friend Dick D. Bartolo. Actually, I'd already been doing a show with Dick D. Bartolo on Tech TV, and when I started podcasting, I thought, you know, we should do a daily Gizwiz every day. This was crazy, daily? by the way. Daily, five days a week. We took the weekends off. Dick and I would bring you a crazy gizmo or a gadget. I have counted Dick a dear, dear friend for 25 years. I've watched him age while I've grown younger <laughs> somehow. But it's really uh, been a great honor to work with a guy I grew up uh, admiring as one of Mad's maddest writers, Dick DiBartolo. Uh, you got to meet Dick mm -hmm. kind of for, for the first time when you came through to this, work here. Yeah, through this show. And honestly, his humor and his 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 quick wit, are to, I, I just love that about him. Plus the quirky gadgets he brings every week. They have always made me you laugh. You always buy them. Or I'm always buying them. Yeah, frankly. Yeah. <laughs> and my, my family benefits from uh, Dickie D's suggestions for sure. So for 2,000 episodes... Wow. Dick DiBartolo has been convincing you guys to buy his crap. <laughs> and now it's our turn to wish Dick and Chad a very happy 2000th episode. Dick, we love you. Chad, I love you too. Woo! And uh, we wish you all the best. Here's to 2000 more. Congratulations, guys. Congrats. Yay! Yay, that was great. That was Cheers that was to that. Yeah. You Classic. know, how did you, how did you end up at Twit? I, uh, I don't even know. Yeah, I wanted to get into anything internet media related, like anything internet media related. Um, and so I started working for Brian Brushwood and I got that job because I used to do magic in uh, Austin, Texas. I used to like... <laughs> you used to do magic like... At nightclubs and things? Uh, well, I, uh, magic. So I would teach magic, and uh, I was part of a summer camp that did a lot of magic. I did a few birthday parties. I didn't do many. Uh, I did a lot of balloon animals. Actually, I had a, that was my first job. And oh that's yeah, we should have we should have found that video. Yeah, you... yeah, doing all the animals. So that's yes. that's how I got started. So um, I actually had some connections in in the magic people. So through a friend of a friend, I met Brian. And um, he was doing a, uh, he was doing scam school at Revision 3. And so, and he was based out of Austin, Texas. I was in Austin, Texas. So anyway, long story short, through Brian is how I ended up meeting Twit. And uh, I was just like, hey, I want a job really bad. And they were like, okay. And, uh, and, then, and then I wanted, I got a job behind the camera as producer. And I wanted to be on, in front of the camera so bad. 
and uh, and the Gizzos is perfect. I love the Gizzos, so it was oh, it was such an honor to start hosting. Leo had to take a vacation, and I had been like chomping at the bit to get in front of the camera, and it was like. The kiss whips. Let me host the kiss whips. Let me do the kiss whips. And um, so yeah, so that's how I, I uh, got to oh, host yeah. my f first shows, and then um, and then I kind of became the go-to stand-in host whenever Leo had to leave. And oh, that was that was, that, that was an that honor. Was, that was an honor. That was great. Yeah, I I got to Leo. Did you know? Did you know Martin Sargent? Yes, I've met Martin Sargent a few times at a few. Yeah. San Francisco parties. I was always honored. He doesn't know who he doesn't know I exist, but I knew he existed. <laughs> and I was always yes. like, that's Mark Chardon. Crazy. Well, 25 years ago, uh, I was doing Good Morning America, and they sent me to San Francisco to find some gadgets for Good Morning America uh, from the Gourmet Show. And oh, wow. so they had uh, I think it was Time Warner back then, cable. Uh, had start, just started Tech TV, and I emailed uh, Leo and Martin and said, I'm coming to San Francisco. Could I come by the studio and see the show? And a day later, uh, Martin Sargent called me and said, listen, Leo reads none of his emails because he gets thousands of them, but I'm asking you before I ask the producers, since you're coming out to find gadgets, is it okay to tell the producers that you could appear on camera if they want? And I said, yeah, okay. So a day later, a producer, uh, uh, it was not call for help. It was screensavers, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah screensavers. screensavers. Um, they said, yeah, come on out and uh, bring like five gadgets and we'll put covers over them and Leo will guess what they do. That's kind of like just <laughs> the gadget. Um, and Leo and I had an incredibly fun time. And uh, they said, if you uh, ever come back to San Francisco. And then it was Tech TV opened a New York satellite uh, studio. Oh, wow. <laughs> so they I said, no, oh, they had a New York they did. bureau? They did. They shared it with a couple of other mini stations. And I started doing spots. Um, and then, as Leo said, we, we had uh, drinks one day. And he said, you know what? I do a, a weekly show and I do a monthly show. I want to do a daily show. And that's uh, that started the Daily Gizwiz. Gosh, that's great. Yeah. Man. And that was in what year? Probably, like Leo said, 25 years. Maybe 1999. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean that's the perfect time for tech TV and uh, and all that. So yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Man, that is crazy. So. Uh, well, you and Leo started episode one. I'm I am going out of order. I realize now. No, that's let's, a, that's okay. Let's take a time machine back. Well, we should we should tell people yeah. episode one was I believe eight minutes. <laughs> yes. Okay. And because you wanted to do the it. daily. The daily. Yes, show. yes, it was supposed to have to do do it daily. So yes. if we, yeah, if we did a daily half hour, we'd be dead by now. <laughs> um, so item number one, is that where you're going with this? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Item number one, well, the video or the video and the audio will tell you what the first thing we ever did on a Gizwiz show was yes and and just to, uh, war, uh, to let people know mo edited together a, a good little video because it was audio only you had nothing for to years. look at for yes. years it was audio only so uh the video we're about to watch was was made by mo uh so here it is hey guys check out my new old gadget you know what let's let the professional tell us about this item And to today's gadget is, people may have heard of it, but this is the latest version of the DocuPen. Wow. Oh, no. <sighs> uh. Okay. Well, if we're in editing, if I'm already editing this bit, let me do this. <laughs> this may end up being episode 2000 and <laughs> 2001. It can't get... 
the bits from the past. Well, this is in keeping with this afternoon when my Wi-Fi went out. Yes. And then my computer froze. So I had no computer. And, and I always love when you go to uh, help on the uh, internet and it says, my computer's froze. What would I do? And the first response was, close all the apps you're not using. <laughs> Hello, the computer's froze. How am I supposed to close the apps I'm not using? Look at me. Yeah, I finally just hit the power button and held it down and it hey, came I back. Scanner, and in but the what's meantime, the um Spectrum cable came back also. Uh, control all delete did not work. It was the computer was frozen, frozen, frozen. Let me go away. What? Okay, I have a new solution. Yes, Myra is is fine. Uh, Becky, yes. I spoke to her last week, the week before. She's still doing her choir. Hey, guys. Oh, no, this won't work. Oh, my gosh. Have I just been showing that the whole time? Wait a second. What is going on? <laughs> I am so confused. How, am, how have I broken all of our things? There we go. Oh, no. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. That is back. What on earth? Uh. I don't think we've had this much trouble on any. I know, other. I know. It, the, I, I don't know if the any video is the corrupted episode. right at that spot or um, <sighs> what it is, mm -hmm. but it is giving me a problem. Mm -hmm. um, chat room. Yeah, it broke the internet. It did. Okay. I'm making progress, slowly but surely. There we go. There's that. There's that. There's that. Okay. This will play this time. It better. Okay, here we go. Third time's a charm. Okay, third time, yep. Hey guys, check out my new old gadget. You know what? Let's let the professional tell us about this item. Going back to episode one. And to today's gadget is, people may have heard of it, but this is the latest version of the DocuPen. The DocuPen, Leo, it, it looks like a windshield wiper if you, if you just hold it. <laughs> uh -huh. And it, does. it is a scanner, but what's neat about it is it can scan a full page uh, uh, in seen. one sweep. I don't know if you remember when Casio first came out with the little, it was one news column wide scanner. And the thing was, if you went to the library, you would have to do like five scans to get a page. Right. So the DocuPen came out about, oh, I'd say four years ago, and it was kind of primitive. And they've done new model after new model. And they've started incorporating some new features in it. And the newest one has all the features that they've incorporated in the past. For example, 
Uh, now it's rechargeable battery. Good. So yeah. as you're downloading your images, I, I guess I should explain first. You take this windshield wiper device. It's right enough for a whole page. Okay. And you're on the airplane and you see something and for some reason you don't want to carry the whole magazine or you don't want to destroy the magazine. You run it down the page. You know what? Uh, it, it took me a bit of time. When I say a bit of time, 10 minutes to, mm. to learn how to scan a, a page uh, so that it, it, it came out. Illegible. A headphone but jack. This newest one now has four settings from 100 to 400 DPI. And the new one does color. And something that they've just added is wow. trans slash memory card slot. So it can carry about 100 pages with the internal memory. But now you could go to the Library of Congress and you know, start scanning <laughs> all those books. Now... This would be a way not to have to check the book out if right. you just needed one or two pages. And the older models are still for sale for about $100. The new one is 300 mm -hmm. and, and it's called the, the uh, RC800. And the new features are the battery? The battery, yeah. rechargeable, color. Yeah. And, and you set the color anywhere from uh, all the way up to 20-bit of uh, 24 bit wow. color a scanning rate as i said 4 dpi 100 to That's 400 good. it's pretty uh, nifty yeah. translation yeah. Memory, which is great which I've never translation memory there, my my telephone that is for 27 dollars 27 on Am on ebay now no yeah. scooter x just oh my gosh it's oh, a AliExpress. yeah so this is just a a modern day version of that uh yes, 28 300 bucks. bucks back then Right, three hundred to being available on AliExpress for twenty seven fifteen. The eye scan is what we're looking here on AliExpress. Um, another uh, another gadget that is because um, oh, it's like Moxie, I think it was the Moxie. Oh, Moxie scanner yeah, I think or something. So. Um, is another. It's not quite the same windshield thing, but it is. Doxy scanner, the Moxie scanner, the Doxy <laughs> scanner uh, is the one that uh, comes to mind as being very much a portable uh, scanner that uh, now it's like I said, not the windshield wiper style. It does have a motor that oh, pushes oh, the paper it's, yeah, it's through. Bigger. Uh, yeah, it's bigger and, and whatnot. Uh, but that's kind of the, the type the, when I think portable scanner, I think of, uh, of that type of thing now. That is a little bit. Y'all yeah. were doing great back in episode. What the moxie? Ah, oh, you need some moxie. Moxie. When oh, you gotta pull out the moxie. That was a big. Uh, they used to use the word moxie in med. <laughs> That's great. Um, thank you, Mo, for putting that together. Looking back at uh, episode one, there was another uh, Leo gadget that um, <laughs> sticks out. That is. Oh, yeah, just just play a minute of that. I thought I thought this gadget was great, and and Leo hated it. Here it is. This is uh, once again we're listening to the audio. This is episode four hundred and six. Ill. Uh, let me see. Let me see if I can get it. How loud is it? It's so well, Leo. How? Oh, how someone's loud is gonna that? say, "There's a fire! There's a fire! Everybody out!" You're sitting there. At least you'll know. You'll hear it. You'll notice. You'll you'll hear it. So you're saying. It was, it's, it's called Purse Guard. Yes, this gadget was called Purse Guard. I started a little bit in into the episode. Uh, here it is. This is the this is it. So you would you would hook your purse onto this, but when someone lifted it up, then that yeah. audio. When you put it on when you put it on the table, it would be flat, and right. the hook would hang down under the table, and then you would. It would it would hold it would if hold. They it, lifted the hook, and the alarm would go off. The alarm would go yeah. off. That's a, it look, and it had a built-in flashlight. Yeah. Interesting that you so, carry this hook in your pocket. You can. It comes yeah. with. It's very thin. It comes with a. Yeah. Did he not? <laughs> he, Leo hated. That. He hated it. Okay. So, somewhere along the line, and we did it on the show. I found shine oh. and dime. Shine and okay, dime. Shine. <laughs> shine and dine is another way to hang your purse and it also has a light but the light 
looks like you have a really expensive diamond ring. Wow, it's sparkling. I can see it's the sparkling. facets. Wow. So this hangs on, this goes on the table. Yeah. Purse right the there. Book hangs on this. Ah. And if someone steals it, you may never know. Because <laughs> it does not have an alarm. No alarm. At least they'll have a, Wait a, minute. a nice light on the way home. Becky said in Italy they chained purses to their chairs. They chained our purses to our chairs. There, like someone else did. Pac and W asked Becky, did the restaurant do it? And Becky says, yes. That would, I would say, yeah, I'll go find another restaurant. <laughs> oh, yes. No, that would be a very safe restaurant because crooks would say, don't go in there. They chain Oh, uh, yeah, they chain for. them up. I would say, could I sit inside? <laughs> I don't want to sit in the street anymore. I'm a little worried. Can I uh, have the no chain uh, section? <laughs> I hope it was a nice chain. Um, mm, that is so funny. Uh, so, should we move on? Let's uh, say a big thank you to our supporters, because our supporters said a big thank you to us. Uh, we asked everybody to send in videos, uh, uh, speaking about the, the 2000th episode, talking about gadgets, talking about the show, whatever the show means to you, uh, whatever really you wanted. It was kind of open uh, to, to everybody. And so, uh, here is everybody's videos! And starting off with Moe's. Wow, guys, we are so proud of you. 2,000 episodes. Can't wait to the 10,000th episode. What a milestone um, you guys have accomplished. And I also want to say um, thank you for allowing my family to be part of the Gizwiz family. <laughs> Yay! We really do appreciate all the hospitality, especially at Disneyland, and your love for tech. Please keep up the work, good work, and we look forward to at least another 2,000 episodes. <laughs> I love the kitty! Yay! Yeah. 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 Thank you, Hi, Mo Dick and, Chad. and family. Here's a toast to you on your 2,000th episode. Congratulations. Woohoo! That was Lawrence. We look, at, we look exact. Oh, he has sound effects. <laughs> I love the cameras oh, back Chad. there. Congratulations, Congratulations on 2,000 episodes, episodes of The Gizwiz. Keep up the good work. Mm -hmm. Love the show. Here's to many more. Bye. Yay. <laughs> this is Chili Kitty. Hey, Dickie D. Hey, Chad. It's me, Jason Howell, the Texploder. And I know this because I have a shirt that says Texploder and then my name underneath it. So it must mean something. I'm assuming you guys have a Gizwiz shirt at this point, right? Or maybe you have a whole uh, catalog of them. If you don't, you should, because 2,000 episodes is a really big deal. I am so happy for you guys that you've continued doing the show, continued the spirit of the Gizwiz. It's just, it's super special, and I adore you both. I just want to show you real quick, I went digging through my catacombs, found this back issue of Mad Magazine that, Dick, you had signed uh, many, many years ago. This is February 2014. And then you gave me not one, but two what me worried <laughs> sheets. I don't know what you want to call them, but signed from you. I cherish these things and I cherish you both. You're awesome. Congratulations on episode 2000. Congratulations on show 2000. Oh, two birds. <laughs> this is Becky's video. She's watching us right there. And the yeah, oh. toothpick bird. And the champagne, ooh. And the, yeah. I hope Toothpick. Becky's oh, Hello, Prosecco. Hello, Dickie and Chad. This is Nilba wishing you a happy 2,000 anniversary for the Gizwiz. 2,000. Um, <laughs> I wanted to show you my favorite toy when I was younger. It's a little Clockwork Mickey. And he oh. still works. So just like you guys, he just keeps on going. <laughs> Hi, Dick and Chad. Congratulations on your 2000th episode. One of our favorite gadgets was from Chad's Crappy Corner, and it was rechargeable fans. They do great. They last all night long. We take them on our travels all of the time. Woohoo! Uh, we want to thank you again for all your episodes, and we look forward to many, many more. From your Thanks two... Food. Biggest, Biggest fans. fans. <laughs> My parents, <laughs> mom and dad. It's so, the same love show with Dickie 
Beep. So uh, the Giz One made a really fun slideshow, uh, and so I thought we could just talk over, yeah, uh, talk over it. This kind of goes through almost, not quite chronologically, but uh, a little bit of all sorts of some of the antics. <laughs> that you, me, Leo. Oh my gosh. Everyone has gotten up to on the show. <laughs> there was Alex Gumpel. I hope there's one of John <laughs> Slanina in here. He needs to be in, um, in this episode. That's, uh, oh my gosh, that's uh, one of the first independent shows with the wire shelf. Oh, pizza. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I remember that one with the green screen. That was like the technical difficulties episode. I couldn't get anything to work. We had to go do it at a different <laughs> computer. <clears throat> that is, uh, I mean, oh, is lots great. of gadgets. Great. Lots of gadgets. Meet up CES. Disneyland. This is great. Yeah. Yeah. This is Giz One, right? This is, yeah, Giz One edited all this together. Wow. <laughs> all the gadgets. Man, we have covered. Look at that. <laughs> so many. I think we've, we've, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> that was the 18 years uh, shot. That is so awesome. Wow. Giz Thank you, Giz One. One. Fantastic. <laughs> so we just want to say also thank you to, uh, really, I mean, I just want to say thank you to a few people that I can, there's been hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people who have uh, touched the Gizwiz, been around the Gizwiz, the chat room, you know, specifically, we just want to say uh, also just like, Gosh, when I think of when I think of the Gizwiz and the community of the Gizwiz, first off, thank you to everybody who sent in videos. Those were so fun, and uh, seeing every one of y'all is just amazing. But uh, obviously, the chat room comes to mind, and there's hundreds of people that we have seen pop in through chat through the years, um, and it's so fun to see usernames that I remember and people that I know from chat there all the time. So yeah. Uh, and, and Scooter Rex, who comes in all the time and keeps, first of all, he finds, you know, some, something that is $100, Scooter Rex says, oh, here it is for seven. Yes. <laughs> yes. And that oh my God, funny. I mean, we really do have the best uh, folks supporting us from, from, you know, Scooter X and, and Mo and everybody in the chat room, but also, I mean, like, Jammer B, or Alex Gumpel back at Twit. Um, we had Jeffrey Needles was a producer for a while. Um, uh, yeah, it's just there's been a lot of people who have helped with the show. So uh, my yeah, gratitude definitely great. goes goes out to them. So thank y'all. And thank when you said it. Alex, Twit was what what forty miles from the San Francisco airport? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. That. At least at least forty five minutes on a good day. An hour yeah. and a half on a bad day. Yeah. <laughs> so Alex came to pick me up at the airport. And he was standing with all the guys who have the people's names. And he had an iPad with the Gizwiz logo. <laughs> <laughs> Picking you up like a driver, circle. like a professional it driver. It, it was just great. That is great. That's great. Super. That great. Super. Um, hey, this is only about talking about the show and, the, and us, we just have some gadgets. Well, I like how we've been sprinkling some gadgets, but you had a, a good uh, gadget that you noticed was on sale that you oh wanted to talk gosh. about. You know what? Did I, what did I do with it? Uh, well, you know what? Just go to the page. Yeah. I, I love, a thing that I, I use constantly is the Anchor microphone system, okay? And when I first got it, it was $250, and it dropped down to 200 but today I noticed 50% off. Off? What? 50% off? That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So be $99.99. For some reason, the white one is 20 bucks more. So it would be 10 bucks more. <laughs> uh, but if you do videos, you get dual mics, the transmitter, the little device itself records audio in case your camera missed some audio 
it's it's great. Ninety nine bucks is super. Yeah, that's a good. That's a really good price. So, <laughs> yeah, if Check you were out. thinking about getting it, it doesn't it doesn't you know once you get to fifty percent off, you know it doesn't get much more than that. Uh, it's no. Other no. after after that, you're in closeout territory, and you're not buying what you <laughs> want to buy. Um, yeah, that's great. Okay, well, I think uh, we have a gadget warehouse and some letters, but for this episode, we want to do something special. So we uh, are giving you a little tour. I want to, we're going to get to see a bit of your studio and, and a bit extra too, and then uh, and we'll check out my studio. So let's check out your studio, Diggy D. Okay. Ooh. Something I still have. I still have pretty much all of the disco lights that I ever had. And they are pretty much everywhere. Wow. I think you found this for me, the dual uh, disco light. I don't know. Yeah, I think you might have found that one, Diggy. That oh, one. Okay. Something I converted. Oh, you know, it's it's pretty neat in here, isn't it? There's it's amazing. Thing up here with laser lights that lights the floor. <laughs> and then up here we have another lighting system. And that's lighting this floor over here. I can't imagine what it looks like through the window to the outside. And I would have more <laughs> lights on, except I'll show you why. I have to click the... Oh, no, I, I don't need to click left. This is why. I can't remember how to turn some of them on. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Yes. yes. And... Obviously. <sighs> I have I have had to purge. I I try to make sure so that I only have one around. Oh wow! I try so hard to keep it in track. Yeah, well, no. The problem is that some of the remotes do a, a different yeah. function on a gadget. Doesn't yeah. Yes, and um, another pro tip. Uh, I'm looking to see if I've done it on anything around here. Is start right. I I get one of those markers that will write like silver, and I write on oh, the I power do it on bricks the back. nowadays. Yeah. yeah, I do it on the on power bricks are the thing I definitely kind of have like muscle memory to like. Oh, there's a power brick. Let me do it. <laughs> should do that. I should do that with the remotes. I should do that with these, too. No, um, I've started doing it, but I didn't do it enough. No, no. <laughs> That is great. Um, okay, hey, and you have a little extra for us. What? Yeah, uh, it's, it started out with finding out that Amazon had a uh, photo background that you could buy. Oh, yeah. And I found the photo background of a ship. And then I thought, I miss my boats and I have so many, so much lighting. Let me turn my bedroom into a ship. You may have seen the video of my bedroom. When the marina closed, I thought, I miss boating. And I thought, let's do a little ship-shaped work on my bedroom and make it more ship-like. And we added waves and the pirate ship and the running lights. And then one night I was laying in bed. I'm sorry, I was laying on my bunk. <laughs> and I thought, wait, this ship has no portholes. And then, ta da <laughs> Shipped the and delivered. Ship came in, the portholes came out, and now I do have portholes. I'd open one so you could look out into the ocean, but it's very rough tonight, and I don't want to get seawater on my bunk. <laughs> Why, mateys? And that, that looks awesome. Yeah. I, 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 you can buy portholes on Amazon and just you can buy portholes the sh the ship uh was a photo background and then Dennis said I don't like it it just ends halfway up the wall so Dennis painted the rest of the ship in <laughs> and then I had the water projector from another spot so I got that out That's and then great. I had the um uh the mecha warrior projecting stars so i put that up too yeah, yes i remember that gadget you loved that gadget uh, yeah yeah is it like the usually, brightest of the nebula usually yeah yeah that is great oh, you have a tour i do and i say in the tour this is the first time anyone will have seen this studio in its entirety so uh 
Here we go. Wow. And that includes me. Okay. So yeah. here we are in the studio. Basically the shot that you should have just seen. Here's my cat, Jack-Jack. Uh, and so this little corner is just one corner of my office, which I haven't shown anyone yet. So you're going to get to see kind of the rest of it. Uh, this is the boring side. This is just, uh, I have like a NAS printer, uh, a bit of equipment. Um, I use this laptop here to record my face cam when I'm doing uh, my YouTube stuff. So I have another uh, camera hooked up over here. And then all of these drawers are equipment, uh, ethernet cables, webcams, wow, MagSafe adapters, um, some more, what do I have down here? Hard drives, I own a lot of hard drives. Uh, light bulbs, whenever I need to get a battery. This is, this is where we grab the batteries. Extension cords. Oh, you, wow. And then this is my, this is all my streaming. I have a streaming backpack uh, that I use. So this is all equipment. Coming over here is my desk. So this is where I stream. This is where I edit. Uh, this is where I basically work all day long. Um, uh, here's the mic. Still using a high LPR 40, of course. Um, what's cool is that recently we've merged or with uh, me moving to this uh, apartment, um, we run the Gizwiz off of this computer now, which is great. So it means that um, I kind of have like all of these, all these different cameras all plugged into the best computer that I own, um, which means that the Gizwiz quality is even better now. Uh, so this is like a little face cam uh, that I use when I'm recording my YouTube videos. Uh, and then this is uh, the camera that we use for the Gizwiz. So this one right here, um, would be the, uh, the, the camera for, uh, the show over behind this, even more equipment. These, uh, I just, uh, have, um, this big old organization tub thing from, um, Harbor Freight, which, uh, keeps lots of stuff. There's another cat down there. Hello, kitty cat. Love that the cats hang out in the studios. And then all of this is on one big C stand, which makes it really, really nice. And then uh, this is the newest, newest edition. I actually had this stand. This is what Dick used to be on uh, for part of the show. Um, and uh, this monitor also kind of laying around. So this is today, this episode only, I finally have a big old screen that I can look at. Before I was looking over from here, over to those monitors to do the show. Today, for the first time ever, uh, I have uh, added this. And then also one more piece of equipment that I just added was, look at that. A little product camera, still working on a single oh. camera, but uh, we have now a product camera, which I just attached up today, which is really cool. You can kind of get a little view of the lighting uh, that, uh, you know, is installed up there. Oh, the, the um, of course, we got to get the disco ball moving. I have a little remote for that because the cats love the disco lights and so they chase them and drive me crazy. Uh, so I have to turn that off. Uh, sometimes, and that's really it. This is just the doorway to the uh, to the, the rest of the house. I'm not going to show you that. Uh, I got some art up on the wall. This is really cool art because it's uh, it's like carpety, and so it like helps block sound. Anyway, that's it for the studio. Back to you guys. <laughs> there Boy, we go. You are so organized. <laughs> I try to be. If I'm not organized. So here's the problem with being organized, is it's the perfect way to procrastinate, is, oh, I gotta organize a little bit more. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that is my, <laughs> that is my unhealthy habit, is organization. <laughs> um, but thank you, I appreciate it, I, I do appreciate it. No, it's, it's great. <laughs> Um, it does, it does, I find that I am so ADHD and so scatterbrained that it is, it is very hard for me to stay in the flow of work if I'm looking for stuff. Um, and I like oh, to have everything at my fingertips. I am, honestly, I'm probably super, I am disorganized, but having the organization is like <laughs> a way to work through how disorganized I am. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost yeah. like I had to put myself on a diet, you know, um, with the organization. Wow. Anyway, thank you. Yeah. So, uh, well, there you go. That's the, that's, uh, my little studio tour. And now we get to head into Dick's Gadget Warehouse. <laughs> Warehouse. 
They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In this gadget warehouse. Oh, oh. No. <laughs> All right. This is in the gadget warehouse only because it is the worst thing. I ever bought. We I went to back to the. I love. We decided, 2000th episode. Let's go back to the worst gadget, <laughs> and we can take a peek at it. Yeah, <laughs> had a coupon code to get forty bucks off this yoga mat. Okay, heavy duty, high density foam, strong structure. I mean, ten dollars for a yoga uh, mat. Use for great men, women, price. Gym, high intensity yes. workout. I mean, it makes Healthy, sense. Healthy, lose weight. What could yoga. go wrong, Dickie D? Okay, <laughs> so I bought two. This is my current yoga rug, but this isn't heavy duty. Nah, too so thin. I figured, oh, whoa, yeah, heavy it's duty. Thin. We need something heavy duty. <laughs> this is my yoga mat. It, this was Amazon. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> and oh god. And that's the carry handle. I mean, a toddler me would have a great yoga session. Yes, I'm yes. Yeah. Out of turn here. Let me see. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to ruin the mat. You know, it's brand new. I don't. I think I could. I'm I surprised could. your entire foot fits on that horizontal. Yeah, I could stand on it. <laughs> I could stand on it. Yes, and I bought two, and I still have the gray one, too. <laughs> Dickie D, that is the funniest thing. I can't believe you still have that. Yeah. Oh, well, my the gosh. old, if it seems too good to be true. Yeah. And that, that was Amazon. Yeah. And that now I remember we went back, and I think that product was, like, deleted. <laughs> They yes. <laughs> it, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they were like, uh, no. <laughs> we wanted, yeah. <laughs> no. I guess they got a million complaints. Oh, my gosh. That is so funny. That Yeah, that's got to be the worst, one of the worst gadgets uh, we've ever done. Good, good warehouse. <laughs> With that, let's head to the ladder. Okay. Best wishes from Jeff and Adam, who Yay! have submitted many videos. Congratulations on making it to 2000. Love the show. Keep up the great work. Yay. Uh, hi, Dickie D and Chad. This is from Steve C. When you request gadget warehouse videos, you say 99% of the videos are used. Does that mean 1% of them are too bad, even? The Gizwe show. <laughs> I think you should make a montage of them and show them so we could see oh my what gosh. could possibly be that bad. We did, do you um, there's no I've way you kept show, a however, list. since 2007 <laughs> when it was the daily Gizwe with Leo and I could only get it on a 10 foot C band satellite dish. Wow. Uh, happy 2000 Steve C. Uh Chris uh Katugno. Uh, good luck and congratulations on 2,000 episodes. I'll be watching. Well, we're watching you, too. And and with, um, you know, did I not? Oh, yeah. Paul wrote, how many fans of the Gizwiz can answer this trivia question? What is so special about episode 107? On episode 107, according to my research... You introduced the first gadget that was available on Amazon. Oh, wow. Amazing. Yeah. Congratulations on the upcoming, <laughs> well, it's, it's now here. Uh, that is a bit of trivia. What number was that again? Seven. Paul, it was show number 107. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a long time. I wonder if y'all were like, we got this weird website, Amazon. I don't know if we were heard of that. No, I'm sure there was a... Still 107. That means for two years. If you had been going 52 weeks yeah, out of the... Yes. Oh, wait, wait, no. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, 
We're How probably doing 50 shows a year. 50 yeah. shows a year. Yes. Yeah. 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 Well, wait, wait, no, y'all were daily then. No, no, that's not right. <laughs> How do we figure this out? Whatever it is. Whatever that is divided by five is however many weeks the show had been going. That is a funny, uh, funny little Oh, uh, I have to show you. Dennis's favorite gadget of everything we ever showed. Yes! <laughs> oh, is it working? Chad showed this on Halloween gadgets. I don't know if we hear it. uh, Three sets of batteries so far. (laughs) Three sets. What was this? This this company has a strange (laughs) name, Chad. Hide and Eek. Hide and Eek. Hide and Eek. Yes. (laughs) Yes. Yes. I love that. Yeah. I love that. Oh, and one of my favorite gadgets, not to use, but to give away. At the marina... Once a month, there would be a meeting of all the boaters at dusk, usually on a Sunday night. And one night I brought one of these and a lantern. I'll bring it back just a little. However, it's a special lantern. When you close it and open it, dun, dun, dun. And it's a fire. That is- well, this is so boaters. I must have given... Two dozen away. Because people <laughs> just love these to have on their boat on the chilly night. <laughs> That's Probably great. still around. And they were <laughs> like eight bucks each. Has anyone ever boated up next to you and say, hey, it's pretty silly to have an open flame on a boat? <laughs> uh, no, no, no. <sighs> um, I think I, I, there's been so many gadgets through the years one of the ones that sticks out to me was uh, actually mo handed it out it was a tiny little flashlight that was like like a pancake that was also a magnet that you could like stick on the fridge and oh I, yes yes i remember that and, and uh that floated around for quite a while uh for me uh using that well, I also want to say a huge thank you to our patrons over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. You guys support us every single episode. and For uh, I, almost 10 years. Seriously? Seriously. Um, I, was, uh, I was hoping maybe there was a chance that I could read off everyone's name on the 2000th episode. But there's hundreds of you, so I'm go- not going to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, but uh, I think uh, on the edited ver- on the edited version of this show, I want to run a little uh, um, little ticker crawl of everybody who's oh, uh, s- who's nice. currently a-, uh, nice. a supporter. So, uh, you guys, thank you, thank you, thank you so much of uh, for your support of our show. Uh, if you like the show, please consider giving back. patreoncom gizwiz or head on over to gizwiz.tv. Click on the Patreon tab at the top of the website. There's a big banner that'll take you to Patreon or a small little link that'll take you to PayPal, however you support. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for supporting our show. Speaking of gizwiz.tv, that's where you can watch the show live just about every Thursday, 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern Time. Whenever we're live, the website will just update with the live stream so you can uh, join us and chat along with everybody. I highly encourage you to join the chat room because it is a fantastic group of people. Uh, all of our previous episodes are there on our website too. Uh, this is the latest and Chad, one. back at the top, there is one schedule change. There is. Here it is. Um, that will be recording on Friday instead of on Thursday. Yeah. August 23rd is a big mad event, with a panel, and I'm part of the panel on 22nd. So, uh, so yeah, that's right there at the top. Is that 22nd? So later on this month. This um, month. Let's head over to gizwiz.biz, Sticky D's website where he writes articles about all the gadgets that we cover on the show. What are you going to do for this one? Man, we, <laughs> we did actually cover a lot of gadgets, I feel yeah, like. Yeah, we did. We honestly got in the gadgets uh, this episode. Gizwiz.biz, while you're there, play What the Heck Is It? This is the game show online where you got to guess what this gadget is. And... Um, yeah, this one's uh, this is obvious to me. That's a little uh, 3M sticky uh, at the top. 
and you just stick this thing onto the side of a helmet, uh, like a like a racing helmet, um, and then you'd click in your water bottle uh, to it. So uh, you just have your water bottle attached to your helmet. So well, I have a great or... guess, but I'm, I'll send it in. Uh, six bad magazines for correct answers, 12 bad magazines for funny, clever, or hilarious answers. So get a guessin' over at gizwiz.biz. I have got to finish eating this cake. Dickie D, happy 2000 episodes. Oh, it would have been funny if you brought it back and the cats had eaten it. <laughs> there was just paw prints. Mm -mm -mm. Happy 2000 episodes, Dickie D. Uh, I'm so honored to host the show with you and uh, couldn't the be same. happy. Couldn't be happier. The same. You're a delight to work with. Thank you. You too. A little too disorganized for my taste. But... <laughs> Tell that to my Ethernet cable bag. With that, we'll see you next week. I'll be here. Thank you.